Hello, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba. Today we have two, one, two, unboxings that we want to do. Something kind of unassuming and small, and something much bigger. So, we're going to get right down to it. Uh, I do want to say one thing. Um, the At the time of the recording of this video, the Andor series has dropped. We've seen the first three episodes on Disney+. Plus, and i got to say, my, my initial reaction is, it's different. And different is good. Uh, it is a slower paced show. It's a little bit more subtle, a little more intriguing. Do I like it better than things that we've seen, like Boba Fett or and or Obi Wan? No. Do I like it? Do I like this one better than the, you know? Do I like the other ones better? I just think it's different. I think it's a different thing, and I like it. I'm there for it. I'm, in, I'm there for the more intriguing, a little less um, cartoony based kind of thing. But again, knowing that we have things like Mandalorian Season 3 coming, um, Ahsoka, Bad Batch, Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, and so many other Star Wars things. Again, as I've, as I've mentioned on my podcast and I've mentioned on other things, is that Star Wars is like going to a grocery store now. There's going to be different things, and they're not going to resonate with everyone. But, but, this is reson but what I didn't expect is to have things resonate with me differently. And this one does that. It resonates with me differently than the Mandalorian has. And Ahsoka, or not Ahsoka, uh, Boba Fett or Obi-Wan. I guess Mandalorian was just taking it in a new direction, um, but with this kind of fun charm to it, particularly with Baby Yoda, Grogu. Um, but it was just fun to have Star Wars back. Boba Fett told a story I didn't even know I wanted to hear. And, and I'm glad for it. I'm glad I did. I'm glad they went in a different direction than I was expecting. And Obi-Wan, it was just giving me all the prequel feels, all the prequel nostalgia for that. And it was just nice to see those actors back and, and the people back doing this, playing those characters and fleshing them out even more. For this, I mean, I love the character of Cassian and Andor, and I love, and I know based on the way he is in Rogue One, that there's going to there's gonna be a, uh, a story there. There's going to be some darkness and depth to why he is what he is. I mean, here's a guy that we watched in the first five minutes of the film, like, you know, literally shoot an informant you know, try, calm him down, give him a, put him in a place of trust, and then shoot him from behind. You know, anything for the mission, anything for the rebellion. So it's pretty interesting. So let's get to our two unboxings. I believe this one is from. Uh, we've had a few unboxings from Boba Luga Studios, which it can only mean one thing. We're talking about a, a customized action figure, and you know, I know there's a lot of people that uh, have a lot of deep and and and, and strong feelings about. Um, Oh my goodness, it does not want to come out. Oh, it's because I didn't cut it all the way. They have some deep feelings about whether or not you should patronize um, customized action figure businesses. Um, I have to say that I kind of feel very strongly that this is, to me, something that I feel is really up to the buyer, okay? And I, and I think it's okay. It's okay to kind of have that. Now, this was kind of an unusual thing. It was not a very expensive thing, okay? Basically, what, what this gentleman did was they basically made um, two items that were kind of miniatures, right? They did a miniature box of the Razor Crest. Now, what I'm going to do with these, actually kind of harkens back to, um, oh, but wait, there's more. If you, now do I have to unbox them? Oh, no, I can't keep the, oh, wait, here we go. There we go. There it is. A little tiny razor crest. A little tiny thing, but it comes in a box. How cool is that, right? Now, I thought this was clever. I kind of liked it, but one of the reasons I liked it was that I'm going to keep it in this little Ziploc bag for right now. One of the reasons I liked it, it had to do with something else that I have. And again, I don't have it in front of me to show you. But if you look back in some old videos, particularly holiday themed, you will find that I have a couple of Baby Yoda, not Baby Yoda, uh, Yoda little Fabergé kind of statues um, and a few, like, a, like a, a gentle giant jumbo Yoda. And it actually has a sack, like a dress of Santa. And he has a little sack, and inside the sack are all these little. It came from Gentle Giant, and there's all these little Gentle Giant miniatures of uh, Boba, uh, 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 
Boba Fett action figure, but it was like in a package with a little Boba Fett action figure in there. Exactly the same as we know it, but just tiny. And a tiny C-3PO helmet and a tiny box. They had a couple of boxes with items just like this. They look like little boxes, you know, and it's like there's the the Naboo Starfighter that, that now has replaced the Razor Crest. But again, just like the Razor Crest, this actually came with a little box that you opened up and there it is. You know, it's just a little simple. There he is. A little simple. Razor, you know, new, not, not, not Razor Crest, but new Naboo fighter that Boba Fett flies. Now, this is unpainted except for a little sil coat of silver. Obviously, this is probably 3D printed, I'm, I'm assuming. I just love these little tiny miniatures. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them to my Santa Yoda's backpack so that we have some more modern toys to go along with their old, more vintage toys. So... It's a little simple something. It's nothing crazy. It wasn't, it wasn't hugely expensive on the part of Boba Luga Studios. So I, I, I thank you very much, Boba Luga. That was really awesome. They didn't send it to me for free. I just I made the purchase, but I wanted to give it a quick review. So that's awesome. And just want to make sure I have no figures in there. Okay, good. Sometimes I order their figures. I'm, I'm kind of being a little more starting to pull back, as I've mentioned on some channels, or some on my channel. I'm starting to pull back on exactly how much I know. I know it doesn't seem like it. But again, these are things that I order a little at a time, and they all seem to ship at once. So that's kind of the thing we're, we're dealing with in this day and age. All right, next up we got, from the little tiny to the really big, or should I say jumbo. So I'm sure some of you know what's coming. If you look, you can't really see behind. It's like, it's like in this, this, this silver framed shelf, I have quite a few of these already up there. And um, it's, a new one has shipped. Oh, uh, I just realized, did I already get this one? No. Wait a minute, did I? I'm going to, you know what? I think, I think, guys, just so you're aware, I am going to, I'm not going to take this one out of the box itself. I'm just going to take it out of this box because I can't remember if I actually, did I order this twice? I think I'm mixing up my... My, uh, there was a, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Let me just get it out. Oop, I'm packing peanuts everywhere. Ugh. Why, 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 Gentle Giant? Why the packing peanuts? Do we really, no, no, I don't think I've, no, I haven't done this one yet. Okay. I did the Vader. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, all right. So we will unbox this one. Hey, hang on. As soon as I get all the packing peanuts out of it, and then I can take this, and I can put this down, and I can put this over here, and oh my goodness, crazy. All right, I guess we didn't make too much of a mess. That's good. All right, so. Okay. Oh, there's more. What did I do with my... My blade went missing. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. So we have the Luke Skywalker concept figure. Now, Gentle Giant has started coming out with these concept figures. Uh, if you look back in some previous episodes, there is um, the concept Vader, which is kind of like a slightly different, you know, original design. There is the Grand Moff Tarkin, which is the one that was that came with the the small version, came with the D Escape from Death Star board game you know, by Hasbro. And then there is also the Mandalorian. I think there's a couple of Mandalorians, actually. Um, which, again, they came from the retro collection. So this one and the Vader were never produced in a small size in, in retro form. So they kind of jumped the gun on their own to make that happen. Now, I'm going to say this. I like the jumbo figures. I like the retro figures feel for them. I'm not sure I want to go down the rabbit hole anymore with Gentle Giant's original figures. Okay, why? Because then it's um, it's never ending. And you know, I'm uh, and even though I'm taking these out of the package, these even by themselves take up a lot of room, okay? And as cool as they are and they are cool. I won't lie to you. They're they're awesome. 
and they're, they, they, they hit all the feels, you know. And they've done stuff before. They've done, like, droids figures. They've done a couple of different things that not, never really, either weren't very popular or never really got released. But, um, honestly, I'm, feel, I'm starting to feel as though, you know, we have, there's literally, like, 70 figures in there. So I think we've kind of hit the, hit the, hit the limit on these. Now, they've made other, man, they've made the Beskar Mandalorian. They've made the Sand Trooper with the pauldron. You know, they've done all these different kind of one-offs to kind of, you know, entice collectors. But this is not a cheap figure to purchase. Although I will say, kudos to them for not raising the price on these. I don't think, I think the price that this was was the price it was when they first did it. So they haven't done any price raising. So thank you for not doing that. I'm sure it's coming, but thank you for not doing it yet. Nonetheless, um, I feel as though, uh, you know, that I, I, and for someone who's, you know, running out of room and is trying to be a little bit more um, selective with what I collect and how much I collect, and, you know, just the idea that, you know, eventually, you know, as I said, I've been starting to thin things out because eventually I'm looking at the possibility of moving and having to pack up an entire collection like this is not something I, I would much rather have a smaller, more succinct collection not to say that I wouldn't keep the jumbo figures. I might. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see what what room I have to move these to. Because the one thing I will not do, I will not put them in storage. I do not like collecting things only to put them into a storage place and let them collect dust. That doesn't seem to make sense to me at all. But the packaging, as 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 you know, always the racing stripe, double racing stripe, the gentle giant in the Kenner font, the um, long playing toy hmm. this toy has been fun tested under actual play conditions <laughs> that's kind of cool but the art is dealing with some using ralph Macquarie art on the back and you can see there's on there's um this is the luke skywalker but i think there might be another luke skywalker where you can actually see his face this is him in his mask you have the vader which we already have uh, there's a concept stormtrooper Concept Han Solo, Concept C C P. So you can bet that these three are these are all coming. This one's already here, and these four are either on their way or they've already coming. I don't know if I'm going to make the purchase on all of them. We'll see. Might come down to something where if I can get a you know some kind of a two for deal or get something a little cheaper down the road, maybe we'll see. But if I don't, it's okay too. Okay, these are great because they come packaged in such a way that you can take them out of the package, or, and when the time comes that if you do want to part with them. You can very easily put them back in the package. You know, and when I say very easily, I don't mean like without any effort. Just, just a little bit easier. Just got to get him up. There it is. Okay. Put him back in here. Close that up. Let me just. Um, I usually take these and now these go up in my attic and there's quite a few of these. They take up a lot of room. So some people like to display them in the package, but that's an immense amount of room. But okay, so there's Luke. Now the funny thing is that funny that I used Bogolugo, they they actually did one did a concept version of this that looks exactly like this. So in fact I'll try to get a photo I'll, I'll put a photo out of it at the end so you can kind of compare the two. Now that that's of course a custom figure. And this is the, um, I guess, the official version of it. I'm not sure. So again, you got to do the thing with the weapon. You got to kind of, kind of slide it in sideways, and it doesn't come with a working holster. So you do the best you can with it. And then this is, you got to hope that it well, actually fits in pretty well. All right. Obviously, the saber is a little different because the new artwork, the saber is a little different. So he does not. Does he have it? I don't believe he's got articulation capabilities in his head. It looks like it could, but when you look at the plastic on the side here, I wouldn't try it. Okay, so basically it's four parts articulation, four points. The, the two legs, the two arms. There he is. There is Luke Skywalker concept. Got the brown pants with the, with the stripe there. Got the belt, the blue shirt. Kind of a cool setup, you know? So I'm here for it. I really like it. Um, now, does it pass the stand test? Yes, it does. So, and I'm liking the fact that it seems to be holding the weapon. Although I noticed the weapon it's using. I don't know. I got to look at a little closer here to see if... Yeah, he doesn't really show the art on the back of him holding the weapon. But that, 
blaster looks suspiciously similar to the Return of the Jedi Jedi Luke blaster, which was designed later. So I don't know. Who knows? But I, uh, I love it. I'm going to put it right up there next to the Concept Vader figure. All right. So, but before I do that, as I, you know, I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. That'll do it for this week. And until next time, may the force and toys and everything. I'll say that in a second. But before I do it, when I get to, when I'm done saying that, just stay on a little while longer, and you'll see a little photo of this guy compared to the Boba Luga Studios figure. That's three and three quarter inch version, and you can take a long look and compare the two. Okay. So again, thank you so much for watching. Check out all my videos. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at DarthTuba, Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook, uh, Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook, and more of the Stars Podcast. And I will see you all soon. Until next time, may the Force and the toys, big or small, be with you.